Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to give you a, a little tour of something that I've been working on, uh, maybe not really a tour, um, but in, in version 1.5 uh, or 1.501, uh, the functionality that let you determine when a cart was loaded or unloaded was broken, uh, insofar as uh, you were able to put a pressure plate around a corner and uh, a wooden pressure plate would be triggered by anything and a stone pressure plate would only be triggered by something with an, a mob in it uh, or a uh, character. And so that was all well and good, but uh, with the introduction of the, the new detector rails, um, that's no longer possible. And so kind of a problem, uh, especially if you're trying to build something like a storage cart a depot or something along those lines. So what I built was a simple way of testing whether a cart is um, laden or unladen, so to speak. Uh, laden being with a mob and unladen being without a mob. And so it's, it's pretty simple. So uh, I haven't tested it too thoroughly, so hopefully it doesn't break, but uh, a storage mine cart has a certain speed which it goes over the tracks. And you can see it gets diverted off into this direction. And I've yet to put a, a booster over here. Um, and it, that's wonderful. And uh, the same goes for powered mine carts. Uh, powered mine carts will kind of have the same speed. So I'll drop some coal in this bad boy. And there he goes off to the right. And let's pray that this doesn't get jacked up on me. And as you probably know if you've done any work with minecarts, minecarts with people in them travel much faster. And so um, what I do is I use some simple redstone circuitry uh, to kind of take advantage of that fact, and it bumps you off to the left, as you just saw. So let's check this out a little bit, uh, see what's behind it. So the first thing is, is a, a track booster. And what that does is it, it simply gets you moving at a pretty even pace. Um, everybody starts off at about the same. Then there's two detector rails. Uh, the first one and then the second one. We'll see behind it in a second. The second one has immediately after it a booster track just to kind of get you going. And, and It's not really necessary, I guess, but um, since tracks slow you down so much more in 1.5, it's kind of necessary. Um, so behind the scenes, and this is ugly because I kind of tried to block it off, this is the first detector, and then underneath of this is the second detector. And so the first detector hits a bunch of repeaters that are set to be really, really slow. And the other detector comes in from underneath, and both of these come into an AND uh, circuit. And so, um, or an AND gate, rather. And so uh, both of these have to be lit uh, in order to send a pulse down here. And so what happens is um, it'll only be, uh, it'll be very brief. And so the idea is that um, when the first detector gets hit, this will start sending the signal down very slowly. And the other one will start, will send the signal down immediately. And so if the delayed signal and the immediate signal hit at the same time, then this sends a brief pulse uh, oh, it's, it's constantly on, so it'll drop off and pop back. And then this uh, knot gate will flip that, and so it's a, it's a brief pulse. It hits this RSNR latch, um, which will flip polarity to this guy here. And that guy is our track switch. And the track switch is right under here. And so uh, if the delay has occurred, um, then flip it to the right, and then we use the RSNR latch to keep it there because we don't know how fast or slow the cart is going. Um, and then, uh, depending on whatever direction it goes in, there's a detector track right after it on both sides, and the detector track um, combines the two signals. I guess it's an OR gate. I, I don't really care. Um, and it uh, sends the pulse to the opposite side of the RSNR latch and resets the circuit um, for the next cart. 
So the usefulness of this, uh, if you watched my last video, y you saw me explain that I have my castle down in that end, and I've got quite a bit of a network down there. Um, and I've slowly been replacing all of my glitch boosters with um, legit boosters, you can see there. In fact, even down here on this side, I have a um, track booster there. Uh, it still uses the glitch boosters to get everything back up. I added some note blocks so that um, oh, it's because originally with the door booster, you heard a nice slam, slam every time you, uh, you boosted, and so you knew something was happening. But with the new track boosters, they're silent, so you don't know what's going on. So uh, I added those nice little tones, and they, they play as the cart comes around. Just, just a little nicety. Um, but the, ideally, what I would have set up is uh, I'd be able to pop storage carts down from the top and the storage carts would get sorted off um, in this direction and I can have like a little depot or something over on this side and then the player gets bumped off to the station and um, at the station they can choose to do whatever. And it's nice because with the powered mine carts uh, I don't need to have as many boosters and we know that the the player will go pretty much indefinitely uh, on, on a track, especially after the giant downhill um, burst coming. There's two giant downhill from from basically um, the sky limit to uh, water water level, below water level, and so um, they'll they'll just keep going right on through and. Um, storage corp storage mine carts, empty mine carts, um, everything else kind of gets funneled through this way and I'll build something cool here. I don't think anybody's done this. Uh, I've seen some um, some interpretations where uh, there's there's been a hill and so they take advantage of the fact that a booster kind of puts you at an even speed uh, no matter whether it's an empty cart, a storage mine cart, everything kind of ends up at the same speed. And then they have a hill, and then if it can't make it up the hill because it's empty, it's an empty cart, it'll roll back down and into the depot. But that doesn't work with powered mine carts, which will keep going. Um, and so you end up with powered mine carts pushing the storage mine carts, and then you have a problem. Um, this solution, uh, and it'll probably make a liar out of me, uh, let's see if we can we can get this to work. I'm really praying to the demo gods that this that this uh, works out properly. Oh oh oh! Don't don't sneak off, please. That booster there. Oh, oh I hate you. These carts are too ridiculous. There's some coal, and that should send it off in that direction. Both of them, not just uh, the one. And so, um, I don't know how many carts you can kind of get in a chain. Again, I haven't tested this particularly thoroughly, but um, it does a, a very good job uh, with what, it, what it's got and what it's worth. And so, um, just thought I'd share that with everybody. Hopefully, uh, somebody can use this uh, to kind of skirt around the issues that are present with 1.5 uh, until 1.6 comes out, and hopefully those will be fixed. Um, but until then, this is a very Minecraft-friendly kind of approach, and um, thanks for watching.